Hey yo, this is Dash, and today is uh, April 23rd, 2013, and this will serve as week 16. Yes, it has been 16 weeks I've been growing my beard. And uh, today will be uh, week 16, the week 16, 16 update of the 2013 Beard Growth Project. And, um, yeah, it's time for another haircut. See y'all on the flip side. Welcome back. All right, so I went ahead and cut my hair and uh, shaped up the beard. I uh, cut some of the long straight hairs and you can see that the hair in my beard is, hopefully you can see, the hair in my beard is probably about a good three, maybe three and a half inches long. Um, and I trimmed some of it back. There were some hairs that were like sticking straight out and weren't as curly as the majority of the others. So, um, one thing of note though, I found, and hopefully I can get this on camera, there's a single, there's a single gray hair in here. I'm gonna try to get it out. Without pulling out too many of my other hairs. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah. So one of the things I have noticed about the gray hairs that I'm finding and pulling out of my beard, it's like they were black and then as my hair or the beard hair is growing longer, they are growing in or like halfway growing in gray. It's actually kind of cool when you look at them, but um, you know how I feel about gray hairs in my beard. So, um, I search once or twice a week for any new grays and any that I find. Oh, there's another one. Any that I find, meet the tweezers of death. So there's another one, let's see. This does hurt when I grab way too many hairs at one time. Damn it. All right, that only cost me like five hairs for that one gray. There's another one over there, but I'm gonna leave it alone. Okay, so that's pretty much it. There is one other thing, um, so I wanted to show you guys this. I am uh, in the midst of car show season, and if you've seen any of my other videos, I talk about my car pretty, you know, I talk about my car often. I'm a you know, pretty big Volkswagen guy, <clears throat> and I show my car and other things like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I show my car in different like show and, shi show and shines and things like that. Uh, not necessarily for, for prizes or prize money, but it's kind of fun, you know, my car is clean and, and I keep it clean, why not show it off, all right? So, but 
The past two weekends, I've done three car events. I did one on Saturday of last weekend, the one on Sunday of last weekend, and then just this past weekend, I did another one on Sunday. And typically these car shows, these events are out in the open, in open fields, or just in open parking lots and things like that. I have gotten tan. And when I say tan, I mean tan. So I'm gonna try and hopefully you guys can see this. This is the part of my sleeve that's been out. This is the part that's been, you know, under wraps under my shirt. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't know, I have tats and stuff too. So, yeah, I tan pretty quickly. All right. And um, I have a little Native American in my blood, so I don't really tan. I get red. Uh, and when I say red, you know, red as far as uh, if you've ever heard the term red bone, that's me. Um, but yeah, so as the summer progresses, I am in Baltimore in the U.S. and uh, we're just getting into the swing of spring, even though it's not really warm. But um, we keep going. Uh, we have a, a little bit, hopefully we'll have a little bit uh, more of a, uh, uh, a warm season per se. And then it'll go full on in the summer and it'll probably be too damn hot for this beard. I probably should have started the beard maybe in the summer and then kind of grown through or had this process through the, the hottest part of the year. But I'm gonna deal. I'm going for the year. So if you can, stick along for the ride. I do appreciate it. And I appreciate the fact that if you leave a comment down below, have you gotten tan yet already? Let me know. Don't forget, as always, click the button up there if you haven't already subscribed. And as always, let's keep this thing growing.